what's good y'all welcome back or welcome if you are new thank you for checking out the video now i don't know if my this particular uh demographic of my channel is going to care about this but recently i just had a video taken down and i'm not too happy about it it was the space jam uh meat king and video there are so many other people on this platform that have reacted to this video and their videos are still up so the fact that mine gotten taken down for absolutely no reason like the conversations i had with support was so poor so basically in the result of the interaction being poor my video didn't get re-put back up like i was hoping it would so i'm just gonna leave it alone and just let it be removed for now but i'm upset about it so i have to talk about it um but today we are reacting to the foxwood race at new hampshire i'm not gonna keep y'all any longer because i feel like i held y'all long enough with that little intro and, and rant so original video will be down in the description let's get into it hold up all right, HD volume up. Are right, we good? Tom Bush leads them off of turn four. We'll make sure everything Wait, recording. Okay, starter. we're good. Wave the green flag. We're underway here in New Hampshire. Also, this is not NBC highlights because they have been claiming and blocking the fuck out of my videos, bro. Like, seriously. So, I'm going to see how it goes with Fox because NBC is just not, not fucking with me right now. See if so this video is gonna be a little shorter than usual. Track. They did not apply any PJ1 like they have here in years past, but there is still some residual grip there. Just be easy here. Oh, we got a car the wall. oh shit, already? Two cars, two oh, cars. Yeah. Raining, raining yes, in raining. turn one. It all of a sudden started raining. Is that Denny? What happened? Quickly in turn one. So that's what happened. Rain caused that. Just a little bit of rain. Leading the race, first one to the corner in the rain. You see the damage, heavy damage to the 18 car. The 19 of Trump, that's another insane. Two what? The Hamlin has some damage too. Some damage on the 42 car. Ross Chastain. Hamlin was backwards down in the middle of one and two. Not sure if he had any contact with any other cars. Yeah, Denny Hamlin said his car is damaged, and it was raining a good lap and a half before that. So that's what all the drivers. I'm not even going cap. When, uh, it might, it might just be this race. I don't know, but I can see that the quality of the highlights are way different on Fox and NBC. The audio does not sound as crisp as it usually does, but I can, I can notice that for sure. Season, I'm just not sure. You know the value oh he's got the window net down pushing the pace car i don't believe i would do that yeah i wouldn't either it's definitely going to draw the attention of nascar there i guess it's frustration let's take a look we know how this started why this started but look at that sheesh grip. oh my goodness everybody in the corner oh the my that's so Four bad back here with that's how it started Kyle Busch just drives in the corner, expected to have grip, and it's just not there. Track's wet. Mm. Big damage. I've drove cars for two decades, and I'm shocked at the lack of grip. That, you know, I know that it's raining pretty hard out there. We're in a we're in a booth, and we don't really know exactly how much participation is coming down. But sitting under a red flag, look at the crew member. Oh. Open the hood flap. And then reach in, ah, no dice. Can't work on a car under red flag conditions. NASCAR saw that. And due to that, you see the other crew members coming out, but they have covers. They have some other things. This right here is clearly more than covering the car, Marty. So that is the reason they have been held for two laps. Yep, that oh, is the wow. two laps. I'm standing here with Paul Wolf, and he's shaking his head. Yes, that's what happened. So he's talking to Joey right now. What? I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't have got this in the NBC highlights, though. Unfortunately, a piece of debris or something flew up off of the racetrack and got up in the linkage there. And, uh, when we went green there initially just uh wasn't getting wide open so uh we just had to fix it I feel like our cars auto trader ford was fast but we're going to need to get wide open throttle to be able to win this race there you go and obviously now down two laps they've got their work cut so out he for thought them, that Steve. was a good I, decision I is that what i got from that, that up, but the, putting all that puzzle together we appreciate i'm not, I'm not really sure there. what a crazy start to this race today at new hampshire yeah first of all i agree with marty because uh, really two laps seems like a lot, is it I'm not? I'm not sure I would have been in such a state of mind where I could have gave such a good interview. Um, 
couldn't get wide open. Jeff, I assume they saw that in the data. Like, hey, man, why aren't you going to wide open? What's the deal, right? They had that whole red flag, or maybe they saw it live. Man, y'all put me on NBC highlights, and now I like them shits. Ross Chastain, three wide, entered turn one. What the, on the fuck air. are these? <laughs> I've never seen that before. It's going to work out for him, though, down the back straightaway. Lap after lap here. Caution's out on the racetrack. We've got a car spun out on the front straightaway, exiting turn four. 38 car, Anthony Alfredo got turned around. You see damage to the right front, the left, or the right rear as well. Big break for Joey Logano. We talked about how do you get back in this race if you're the 22 car. Well, unfortunate for Anthony Alfredo. You mentioned it, Junior, big damage, but that will be one of his two passes back Chases to the first. driver of the 22. That was that second. Yeah, if you're two laps down, it's got to get to one. So right? frustrating. Kerr dropped down to fourth. Trying to get those laps back, but this is going to work out perfectly. And you see Anthony getting loose up underneath Bubba Wallace. Spins himself out. Down the back straightaway. Chase Elliott making a rebound here. We got oh. a spin mm. off turn two, the 51 car. It's Cody Ware. For us. For us to win this race. The double Rick zeros in three. the wall. Yep, we got a car in the wall. Quinn Huff in the fence down in turn three and four. Man, this rain is really making a difference. Some damage on the left side of the left rear. Deck lids wrinkled up. Or are people just off that game? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you got to do a little bit of both. Dylan was on pit road. Yeah, that's difficult for Austin. He's going to lose a lap doing that. You see the damage to the Permatex, double zero. Yeah. Difficult. Looked like a couple cars bunched up down there side by side, trying to get through that turn three entrance over those bumps. So let's take a look here. Oh, he got a little help. Down in the corner, looks like. Mm. Possibly Ryan Newman. I hate this. That looked like Ryan Newman. Yeah, I hate this. These restarts are physical contact right there. Oh. The big spin. Chris Busher. No, not my man. Damage to the right side. Come on, get back in there. Right front's flat. So lucky they spun down the entrance of the road course, missed that interior wall. Damage to the left side. Sporting the McDonald's look. There's that right front tire down on the 17. Chris Busher's Ford. Chris Busher was looking so good in the points about a month and a half ago, and since then, nothing's gone right. Longtime sponsor, Fast and All, on board for this Roush Ford. Trying to get his way back to pit road. I think, I think yeah, we talked sparking. to Chris this week. You could just hear that, regardless of what he was saying, you could hear the disappointment, just trying to figure out Sheesh. what to do. Now, the concern here is no interliners at the one-mile track, so we see some sparking. You know, that could be the sway bar arm, could be other pieces of suspension. Let's take a look at what happened, guys. You see the contact with the eight right there, but something happening behind them. The 23 just gets loose off the corner. I don't know if he had any help there, but he just gets loose off the corner and nowhere for the 17. Man, they did barely push it to go. Wall. And well, he barely right. They were very lucky where they were on the racetrack not to have worse contact. I don't know. Maybe Bush got into the back of him and helped him around and got Bubba loose off the corner. Can't really see. I feel like Busher, there was some contact behind yep. from Stenhouse just as Busher tried to slow up. He's going to work his way off of turn four and claim the stage two win. Who took it? Only Brad oh, Brad. Kevin Harvey came in second. Blaney in third. Who came in fourth? Oh, Blaney slips up the racetrack. I would have seen it if it was NBC's highlights. Side by side off turn two. Down the back straightaway, Eric Amarola. Oh, uh, Blaney hanging on that outside. That's going to make it difficult for the 10 here on corner exit. Oh, man, he's so close. Oh, now Eric can drive it in the corner. Just overdrive it. Slide up in front of Blaney right here. There you go. Still got a lot of laps to go, though. It's got to push really hard right here. Take advantage of the advantage you have, and that is short run speed. Get it's by him, rolling Now, now, in my opinion, mm. you only have to be in front of him by three or four car lengths. Get it? Oh, here we go. Amarola all over. Oh. Keselowski. 
close. He's got the outside position on Brad down here in turn three and four. Brad gets a little bit loose, loses so grip, up the racetrack he goes. The 10 car in the throttle, corner exit takes that position away. Sid Alves Jr., the next guy in front of Almirola. Two to go. Eric, at this point, just hit your marks. Think about nothing else. Don't even look in the mirror. The shot heard across the playoff. That's really all he got to do. Almirola leads with under two laps to go. Gets that car turned off the of turn four. One lap to go, presented by Credit One. Come on, Bank you got this. There's one lap. You can't fuck this up. One. Maybe to get his third career win in his 374th start. Amarola got that. It was at Talladega in October of 2018. This is going to put Eric Amarola into the playoffs. If he can make it through turns three and four, he's got lap cars in front. But the lead is a little bit too big. For Christopher Bell, Eric yeah, Alvarola with the that. upset at New Hampshire. Yes, yes. I'm gonna be honest. Fox highlights ain't it for me, bruh. Not no more. I started here, and I'm glad I ended it here <laughs> and went to NBC. Because watch the rest of these highlights is literally it's just celebration shit, ain't it? Yep. Just celebrating for three minutes. That could have been more of the race, bro. Nah, I really hope I can go back to NBC at some point. I'm just kind of iffy now just because based off of my last video getting taken down, I don't want no more problems with YouTube. So I'm trying to avoid any claims that I can possibly get. So I hope y'all understand. But it was a cool highlight. I mean, for Fox, I really wish... I really wish I could react to NBC. But I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. Let me know down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all next one. I love y'all. Peace. I'ma pull up on his avenue, grog, grog, grog. Shit a few times, yeah, that it is. Live life ain't got my hands, no tattoos. Used to do zans in the back of the classroom. Now I'm too rich off the price from the radical. That shotgun to tear him in half like a decimal. 40